Okay. Oh, there we go. Coming down. With meticulous care. Coming back. Back. And reverent precision. Right. Too much. Pretty good. good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Nearly 30 volunteers wore white gloves while constructing the wall that heals on the lawn of the National Veterans Memorial and Museum. The black slate have engraved on it the names of all those who were killed in Vietnam or missing in action during Vietnam, over 58,000 names. The traveling exhibit spans 375 feet and reaches over seven feet high at its apex. The names are inscribed by the date of death or missing. And so from the beginning of the war, probably to the high water mark, in the 68 time period and then to the end are the names. Wall provides the opportunity for people who can't visit the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C., the chance to find the name of a family member or loved one right here in central Ohio. I have a Robert Roy Davis, United States Army. Vietnam veteran Bill Peterson. That's him. Volunteered to help build the wall out of respect to his brothers he lost during the war. Should be right there, Robert Davis. Yep, Robert Davis. So it, it brings back a lot to me uh, as far as memories of how they were back then, and then also going to Vietnam and seeing what they had went through. Volunteers will help visitors access the veterans' names through an online database that will direct you to your friend, family member, or loved one's exact place on the wall. So what this offers is the ability to honor them and to say to all of our Vietnam veterans, it's Memorial Day and we're honoring the fallen, but we want to thank you and welcome home. The wall gives visitors the chance to remember, to honor to heal. It's going to mean closure. It's a very, very emotional piece of property right now.